Hello everyone, back to do your bonus read for Sunday the 14th of October. I hope you are all well and enjoying your weekend. Having a bit of a lazy start to Sunday, although I need to get your weeklies up at some stage or another today. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I am so appreciative of you all and thank you so much for your beautiful comments. I do read them all. Um, I love them. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, well, please subscribe. But if my readings don't resonate, I understand. I'm quite happy for you to move on. So, what's happening in your bonus read this morning? Okay, oh, very nice. Lovely. This is the card of strength. Now, this tells me a lot of you have been doing very deep internal work lately. This can be, I'm using the Witch's Tarot, by the way, Ellen Dugan. Um, this can be about, you know, taming your inner demons, learning how to love yourself, support yourself, looking for things that, you know, you, you personally... Um, have developed to understand your internal strengths. Um, I love the line in this picture. So in the uh, Rider Waite tarot, she's seen sort of like almost strangling the lion <laughs> and the taming of it. But in this one, we just see this beautiful sense of satisfaction on this lion's face and this, you know, look of... Um, I know her face is sort of like the look of um, satisfaction. So for me, it's a beautiful card, but this is how you're feeling at the moment. You feel like you've put in the good work and you're reaping the benefits here. Okay, so the first card you have out is the Six of Pentacles, and quite rightly so, because the Six of Pentacles talks about having give and take in your life. It talks about balance. It talks about, you know, reaping what you sow, bringing in what you deserve, that type of thing. And this is how you are at the moment. So there's this definite feel that you've accomplished something here. What you've put in is paid back to you in, you know, in a very similar way. So I really like this card for you, especially after the strength card. Um, the Eight of Wands comes in after this. We haven't seen much of this guy this week really so the eight of wands talks about something coming in for you um so i'm already getting a feeling of something happening here so i'll wait till i put a couple more cards out and talk a bit more further on that but the eight of wands talks about you know messages coming to you permissions messages messages of passion um it talks about receiving things very quickly um the other thing it represents often is arrows of love so something is coming to you. And I feel with this card here that you've put in the work, the strength card, you've done what's needed to be done inside. And there's a strong feeling that some sort of love is coming back here. Okay, and then we have the Six of Wands. So very, very much so. Lots of passionate cards here. Um, the Six of Wands talks about having a victory. Um, something you've done guys something you've put out to the universe is about to come back to you whatever that is it's beautiful and the first reading the what's cracking reading talks about returns on things as well so very much a time at the moment of you know recognizing the energy you've put in recognizing what you've done and having your good work returned I love it I love it okay and then we have the eight of pentacles so this could be a work situation, it can be a love situation, it doesn't matter either way. There's something that you've done here that you're getting a return on investments because you've been working really, really hard at this. Now, whether this is internal work or whether it's external work, there's this feeling that you've been putting in a lot and you're waiting for something to come back to you. So you could have been putting a lot of time and energy into your business, into bringing a relationship in, you know, trying to get a relationship. You may have been dating online, talking backwards and forwards, and now that you're finding that that particular person is the right one for you, or, you know, it, it could be anything like that. I know the Ada one sometimes talks about internet conversations too. So you could have met somebody online. Knight of Wands, because this person is coming in to make you an offer here. Now, the Knight of Wands can be an energy of in and out. It can be an energy of someone who's perhaps been a player. Um, it can be the energy of someone who is not wanting commitment. 
So if you are dealing with this, there's a little word of caution here. Now, I think I've said to you, it's another one of those cards that gets a bit of a raw deal, but actually think there's a warning here to just be careful. If you've got involved in something, you've been waiting to come back, um, just be sure that they're not back to you for the wrong reasons. Okay. <laughs> no, they're not. They're in to offer you love. Okay, so... What I'm thinking here is they may have been this person in the past. You could have had maybe a bit of a fling with them, short-term relationship. Maybe things didn't work out. Maybe it's some years ago and you never expected to see them again. Um, but they're now here to offer you love. Um, that's all I can say. I feel like someone's got back in contact with you after perhaps a period of time. And perhaps you healed from this relationship or this occurrence. Maybe you did have strong feelings for them at some stage or another. So even though they were in and out and it was a very quick energy, maybe it was sort of a bit of love at first sight for you. You never thought they'd come back, right? Surprise! Brand new start. It's clarity. This is someone coming in to tell you why they did what they did. This is someone coming forth and telling you that they love you that they felt the same way, but it never eventuated. And they will be there to tell you why it never eventuated. But whatever this is, you have done so much work on yourself. So kudos to you for your good work because you've healed so well from this relationship and this may give you the opportunity to move forward into something brand new. There's truth to be told here, truth to be told. Will you choose to go in that direction though? Because we have the two of wands coming up next. So I like that this is happening to you, but maybe, maybe in your healing, in having the time to really nestle inside yourself is what they're saying to me. I have no idea what that means. Nestle inside yourself. Um, because you've done this work and you've gone deep inside and you've dealt with this and you've healed from it, there's a very good possibility here that you may choose to go into a different direction because of that. So maybe you don't feel the same way about this person anymore. I do think this is someone returning. However, it could be someone new for you. But if it's someone new, it's been someone you've been or had your eye on for a long while. It's been someone you've sort of loved from afar. It's someone that you've given your heart to without them actually knowing. Because this person is now coming in to offer you something. They're coming in like a knight of wands, but they've got a cup. So they're coming in hard and fast to give you this truth. So this could be a brand new person. Could be. Because the work you've done on yourself, the universe is rewarding you with somebody that's right for you. So maybe this is just about taking a different path to the one you thought you were going to take. So maybe you will move forward with this person. Either way, there are more than one story here. Um, and the Five of Cups now looks at talking... At, sorry, um, Sunday morning jitters. Um... The, the Five of Cups talks about not dwelling on the past, not dwelling on past mistakes or regrets. Um, and I think the call here is for you to not do that. Because maybe you had, okay, maybe this person, if you met them before, or this person you're about to meet that's new, isn't quite what you've expected. This person may not be your usual type, height, size, structure, different culture, different religion. This person coming in may not be what you saw yourself with or expected yourself to be with. And I feel like there's a little bit of disappointment here. And maybe this is why you're choosing now to move in a different direction. But there's definitely love being offered here. Look at this, <laughs> definitely love being offered. Whether this is someone new or someone from your past, this is the opportunity to move forward on love. I'm thinking this card now means that this will take you in an entirely different direction that you had planned for yourself. I don't think it's a choice. I think the actual offer of the cup, you've got two aces in this reading. I feel like the offer of the cup will take you in a completely different direction. This is really beautiful. And a very short reading because it was so straightforward. 
So whether it's someone from the past or someone brand new, there's love being offered here and it's a true and honest offer. It comes with truth and clarity. But it's not something or somebody that you expected to ever hear from again or hear from now. It's an offer of love from someone that doesn't fit with what you thought was your ideal. That's really beautiful. Alrighty. So we have the card of Caressa and it says you at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. I like that for this reading. So something beautiful coming in for some of you guys and as I said whether that's a return or whether it's someone brand new there's just a, be there's a beautiful love offer here. Thanks everyone. <laughs>